Damn failure. Damn failure. Damn failure. A dam can fail if the pore pressure at the base is increased to the point where the ground behaves like a fluid. At the base of a dam, water saturates the soil and reaches steady state groundwater flow. In this system, an uplift pressure is exerted within the soil, which decreases in magnitude with distance downstream. In groundwater flow systems, potential is called hydraulic head, so flow is always perpendicular to lines of constant head, the equipotential lines in this case. The result is parabolic flow nets beneath the dam. Based on the following relationships between reservoir height, pore pressure, and hydraulic head, the maximum pore pressure equals the height of the reservoir times the specific weight of water. The soil beneath the dam must be able to withstand the force related to pore pressure in order to preserve structural integrity. This ability to withstand force depends on the stress between particles. The actual or effective stress is dependent upon both the pore pressure within the system and the total stress between particles, a property of the sand. When reservoir height and thus pore pressure is increased until effective stress reaches zero, soil liquefaction occurs. The soil system loses its solid-like qualities and behaves as a fluid, collapsing our dam. Back at it again with the white sand. Damn saturation. 